But as of tomorrow, Mrs. Maker will be in here working. Hello and welcome to My Man the Maker. The project that I'm going to take on right now is a slight relocation of this desk. It's just not right. And here's what I mean. There's a big runway behind this desk that makes no sense whatsoever when you consider the fact that the, these doors open outwards with zero folding in. So this entire return on this desk is six inches out, something like that. And by having done that, this corner has a door that won't open. So here's what I plan to do. I, I suppose I should also mention the fact that this return is so jammed against the wall that you can't plug anything in because the plug is actually projecting through the back of the desk, which makes no sense either. And there's wires across the outlet and all kinds of insanity going on below the desk. So plan is to move the desk forward, I mean towards me, to the point where that door there disappears. So we're looking at a move of a forward shift off the wall of, oh well, I guess I can grab a tape measure and tell you exactly. We're looking at a three inch, a three inch shift this way and a seven or so inch shift this way. That's what we're going to do to get this room ready because Mrs. Maker deserves a nice working area and Mr. Maker would like very much to deliver that to her. So when she's working at her desk, which is this desk, she's looking out at a very nice backyard and there's birds singing and stuff out there. So if we open the door, You can kind of hear the birds twittering away. It's very relaxing and nice. So that's that's the idea is to create a really beautiful working environment for Mrs. Maker where she can relax if she wants or listen to the birds or look out at the lovely bamboo wall that's been installed. But to do that, this desk has to be shifted in a big way. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shift this desk today. Wish me luck.
And here we are. The desk has been moved and rewired. Now, there's a couple of interesting notes about this desk um, that I may explore later. All of this furniture is lit with LED strips that are mounted in the bottom. So it's got ground effects, believe it or not, which is pretty incredible. But I was more interested in just positioning the desk correctly in the room. So here's what I did. I shifted the desk closer to the door. And what that does is it reduced the size of that runway. So now you see that the desk lines up with the, there's a return on the corner. This is part of the support structure for the floors above because there's a very, very large aperture that these doors are mounted into. That's a huge open space. Only made possible with these uh, pillars or piers um, in the corner. So you have a little bit of a return here and the desk fits in that little return. The other thing I did was I wanted a little more space off the back of this desk to be able to get at things like this access panel, this access panel, and I found that there was a, a electrical receptacle which had been mounted on the wall but was wired to the desk, so I, I removed that. Very strange. There's a hole down below that I might explore later. I don't know why it's there, but for now I need to get this uh, office up and running. So what I ended up also doing was increasing the gap between the end of this desk, which is really just a large L-shaped desk. So the work surface is here, and the return is here. And then there was a, a little bit of a gap. So what I did was I lined it up so that this door clears, and there's a little bit of extra space in there. I haven't had a chance to clean it up yet, I will. But also that means that now this door, which was unopenable before, can now at least be opened a little tiny bit, which is better than nothing. There's a little wire down there. That's part of that ground effect lighting I was talking about, which I will be trying to maybe rejuvenate later. So I brought the desk away from the window. You could think of it that way to give myself some ability to access the back because there's wiring back there. There's wall power there, and the desk is connected to that. So I put a little S in there so the desk can be moved, uh, pulled out, for example, if need be. It's quite heavy, so it's difficult to pull out. And here is the uh, ground effects lighting. This goes to a transformer, which is, I don't know where, somewhere in this desk for the lighting, and then there's a telephone cable down below which is integrated into the alarm system. Now the alarm system is in the corner here, and I just cleaned up all the wires. There's more ground effect lighting. All that black cord is ground effect lighting, and uh, I wired in this uh, receptacle, and this receptacle are both live, and what I plan to probably do is I'm going to there's a trench in the lower surface and it goes all the way to the end. So what I will most likely do is put another receptacle there for Mrs. Maker because that's where she's going to be. And here's the wire for yet more electrical ground effect stuff. Very interesting. So anyways, uh, this is coming together quite nicely. What I'm going to do next just now is somebody, very, very um, inconsiderate person, put their cigarette on the end of the table. This is characteristic of smokers who don't have an ashtray, so they, they balance the cigarette on the end of the table and then it burns up and puts a burn mark on the end, edge of the table. So I have the choice of either sanding it off, which is going to be my first option, or repainting a, a revarnishing the surface or repainting it a different color. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do with this. It kind of integrates with the bamboo, but the bamboo is going to get painted white. So maybe this desktop surface will also be painted white. I have some very nice high gloss white. That would make this desktop real pretty. And I would paint all the rest of it white as well. So we, we would have this sort of white 
um, work we can think of it as a, as a plane there's a, a support beam here that would probably go beige to match the support for everything else and if I do to go white then I can fit a little piece in there to um, make the desktop unbroken so I think that's probably what's going to end up happening but for now I'm going to just focus on getting this little bit nicer looking however I may do that and this is also just an examination of what I did. I had planned to move the desk to the right. I did that. I had planned to move the desk away from that wall, from the window. I did that. It's a heavy unit. I disassembled the um, electrical, which, in, which involved removing this box from underneath the desk to just see what's going on in there. There was also an electrical receptacle inside the box, which is a really silly idea. So I have uh, changed that because the, it might be because these two uh, access ports are inside, but don't forget there's that trench that goes through the, the box. Anyways, where there's a will, there's a way. I'm going to have this desk whipped into shape in a cup couple of days I figure it won't take very long mostly it's just going to be traveling to the store to get some materials and maybe sourcing a, a little tiny piece of work surface to bridge that gap or maybe that gap just stays there for a little while it's not going to kill anybody on this bookshelf here which is huge they've also done some other weird stuff I have this mystery box and then stuff glued to the back and then a control panel for an alarm so my guess is that there's been extensive wire work done inside this thing or behind it I have a feeling that people have run power inside of it I just have a suspicion Let's see if there's I've got a feeling there's power in there yep here it is, more of that black wire, which I now know is for the lighting on the bottom. So, the adventure continues. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, giving me a like, and leaving me a comment. I really enjoy making these videos, and I want to know from you how I can make them better. The whole point of these videos is to demonstrate that if I can do something, you can do it too. Well. That's it for now. So long, and remember, keep making.